Section 6 of Robert Burns' 250th Anniversary, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording from Andy, from Inverarnon, Scotland. Address to a Haggis, by Robert Burns. Fair fa ye honest sonsy fees, great chieftain of the padden reese, aboon them all ye tack your place, pinch, tripe, or therm, weel are ye wordy of a grease as langs my arm. The groaning trencher there ye fill, your hurdies like a distant hill, your pen would help to mend a mill in time of need. While throw your pores the dews distill like amber bead. His knife, see rustic labour dicht, and cut you up with ready slicht, trenching your gushing entrails bricht like on a ditch. And then, oh, what a glorious sicht, warm, reeking, rich. Then, Horn for horn they stretch and strive, deal take the handmost on they drive, till all their wheel swelled kites belive are bent like drums. Then all good man must like to arrive, but thank it hums. Is there that o'er his French ragout, or olio that would store so? Or fricassee would make her spew with perfect sconner, looks down with sneering, scornful view on sick a dinner. Poor devil, see him o'er his trash, as feckless as a withered rash, his spindle shank, a good whiplash, his neve a knit, throw bloody flood. Or feel to dash. Oh, how unfit. But mark the rustic haggis fade. The trembling earth resounds his tread. Clap in his woolly neva bled. He'll make it whistle. And legs and arms and heads will sned. Like taps a thristle. Ye poors who make mankind your care. And dish them out your bill of fare. All Scotland wants nae skinking wear that chops and luggies. But if ye wish her grateful prayer, gie her a haggis. End of Address to a Haggis. Recording from Andy in Vernon, Scotland. M-A-L-Y-S dot W-S.